this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Good morning! No one even cares. No one- Oh, there's a baby llama. There's a baby llama, you see? You see? Normally everyone wants to come and say hello to me in the morning, but now- there's a little baby llama, and I mean, I don't blame them. It's very cute, isn't it? It is very cute. Well, right, let's go see the baby llama then. Hello, oh my god. Look how, look how long the neck is. The neck is longer than its body. Look how, oh, it looks like a corgi llama with a long neck. Yeah, <laughs> llama long neck. <laughs> I relate. Uh, right then, uh, let me, um, Oh, I haven't, had, I haven't had my breakfast yet. Uh, tell you what, let me go to the love garden, and then we'll go, we're gonna do things in a weird order. I don't like changing my order. I'm a man who loves his routine. <laughs> and so anytime the order's changed, I don't like it, but we're changing the uh, the order. Actually, I'm looking forward to this, because uh, I'm excited about who I'm adding to the uh, the love garden. I am adding uh, Feverless. And the reason I'm adding Feverless is because they did this beautiful drawing of me and Gregory, my first ever dog that I had in Minecraft. And I love this uh, picture so much. I got them to send me a high-res version so I could get it printed out and put it up on my wall. And I've not done it yet, but I'm going to. I just love this picture so much. So thank you so much for doing it, Feverless, and welcome to my love garden. Uh, right then, um... Oh, Barnaby, a spider still in the house. I got to right. Okay, let's go. Uh, they're still playing with the baby llama. My helpers are going to be preoccupied for a, for a while. I'll go get a, get Barnaby. And oh! I can't have my breakfast because we are actually playing in peaceful mode right now. I know, it's unbelievable. It's crazy, but there's a reason we're playing in peaceful mode. And you can probably guess what it is if you've seen the last few episodes. It's all to do with fire. I'll explain more. So, instead of eating my cake this morning, instead I'm going to uh, smash it up with my paws. So even though I didn't get to eat it, I got the satisfaction of smashing it, <laughs> which is almost, almost as good. Not quite as good, almost as good. All right, Barnaby, let's go take you to the other uh, dog. House. I will be uh, taking, uh, of course, Duncan and Mittens uh, to join us uh, to be the spectators for the Trailblazers minigame tournament. God, it feels like we've been building the Trailblazers minigame forever. Does, is it just me? I, I think maybe it's just because I'm doing like lovely world videos once a week. It feels like it's taken forever to build this game, but it's okay because this is the this is the reward. This is the uh, the payoff for all of our hard work that we put into to building it, because now we just get to spend an entire episode uh, enjoying the game, uh, having fun, and uh, setting each other on fire. So uh, <laughs> what's not uh, to love? And speaking of things that I love, oh, Mittens, you're on the, um, this is her little, uh, her little kitty litter. Uh, is she finished? Uh, I'm trying to judge by her facial <laughs> expression if she's finished or not. Yeah, she looks like she's finished. Right, you can stand up and you can uh, join us. We will do our customary dive off the uh, the balcony. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the mini game uh, over at the, the fun land is pretty close to one of my teleporters. Uh, so it's uh, generally faster to ride in the teleporter. I realize a lot of the time I use the teleporter. If I just, like, ran there really quickly, I could probably get there just as fast. But you know what? The teleporter's fun and it makes a, a weird little noise as I go through it. So I like using my teleporter. So looks like the helpers are... Oh, the helpers are here! I find... I thought they'd still be playing with the, uh, the the llama, but they have decided to join me. So right then, let's go to the teleporter, press button number one, and teleport off to the fun land. Okay, I think I should be just about at the uh, the fun land now. So uh, right, let's go and head to the the mini game, and I will very quickly explain the uh, the rules for those of you that don't know how to play, which is probably all of you. I know you might have seen me building it, but it's always a little bit different when we end up playing it. So yeah, we're playing in peaceful, basically just so the fire doesn't kill us. If you're doing it in the console edition or Java, you can just have a fire resistance potion, but in Bedrock. Uh, when you have the fire resistance potion, uh, it kind of just puts the fire out rather than just stop it from hurting you. So that was the plan. I hope that they would like patch it or change it before, but they haven't. So basically, uh, I guess I'll demonstrate. Let's say I'm the person who starts off on fire. I run in and I leave a big old trail of fire behind me like this. And I'm basically either trying to set other players on fire or block them off from turning on these redstone lamps. Because basically the other players will be running around uh, trying to turn on the uh, redstone lamps of their color uh, and then once they're set on fire they can no longer turn on the redstone lamps but they've got to try and set everyone else on fire we all have one round each starting off on fire and yeah we add up all of the uh, the points at the end 
Hopefully that explains the game well enough. Oh yeah, I added some redstone. So this all works now. All of the, the like it kind of half worked at the end of the last episode, but it wasn't all linked up. I did that. Uh, I also added a trail of redstone under the ground to do the doors. So the doors open and close. So say if I want to lock Fizzy inside of the mini game, I can lock Fizzy inside of the mini game uh, as well as William <laughs> as well. Or I could be nice and I could pull the, the lever and I could release them. I mean, I could show you the redstone, but you know what it looks like. It's just a trail of redstone leading to some redstone like lamps. It's super it super easy i also added some glowstone in the uh, the ceiling basically to stop all of the mobs spawning in here and then realized that we've got to play in peaceful anyway so it didn't really make much difference uh i'm gonna take my armor off just in case it does in any way give me an advantage uh, actually i'm gonna leave my boots on apart from my boots <laughs> i'm gonna take my armor off i can't not have my stampy style boots on can i uh, right then so i'm gonna be on the orange team uh polly's gonna be purple william's gonna be blue fizzy's gonna be yellow and uh right let me just kind of pick at random who's gonna be on fire first uh fizzy seen as fizzy uh starts with f you could start off on fire so you do yeah <laughs> basically you've got to do that and uh let's shut the doors for starters when the doors open we begin so fizzy you don't switch on any lamps everyone else only switch on the lamps of your color we will begin the first round of trailblazers in three two one and go 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 so right i just want to stay well away from fizzy oh fizzy looks like he's going right towards me i i haven't learned where the uh the redstone lamps are because oh no i switched that one twice i switched that one twice because we're going to be doing it like oh which way is he going oh he's coming this way he's coming this way oh can i dodge through the fire oh look because fizzy's jumping he's leaving gaps <laughs> and i was able to run through the gap oh no he's gonna get me now though oh he's got oh, so close oh, oh oh is there a gap oh i managed to get through the gap oh, i don't think anyone's on fire oh no i'm on fire i am on fire i am on fire all right let's try and block everyone else off oh i think polly's oh polly's on fire it's all right polly's on fire i think it was william the only one not on fire so far no everyone's on fire everyone's on fire right everyone stop switching the lamps i will press the button to put us <laughs> to put us out Ah, that's lovely. So your hearts do still go down when you're on peaceful, but uh, you obviously survive way better than if you're on like hard or easy or something. And if you stand in these doorways or kind of on these little ledges here, you can allow your hearts to go back up. So right, no one switched the lamps. Uh, I also added in the uh, the last episode, as you saw, uh, if you watched it, uh, these really high up areas here. So they now have ladders that go all the way up to the, the top. So this is basically a much easier way for me to be able to count up. Rather than having to, to run around, I can go up here and just see how many points uh, everyone scored. So uh, I didn't do great, but let's count up mine first. So orange ones, I got one. One, two, three, four. Is that oh five, six? So yeah, I got six points. So not too bad. Not the best. Not the the worst. So Fizzy obviously doesn't get any points because he's the one setting everyone on fire. But that's okay because he's got that round done now. He will be able to do all of the other rounds. Uh, so let's uh, let's count Williams then. So William was blue. So we got one, two, three, four five six seven eight eight uh nine total so william did very well there i'm not gonna add up everyone's score as we go i'm just gonna do it for each round then do it at the end just so it's exciting we don't know who won so uh let's see how well polly did so polly was purple uh she got one two three four five six seven eight nine total i believe wait, wait 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 don't do polys yet let me double check one two three four five six seven eight nine yes i believe that is nine hopefully i'm not miscounting these to be fair i think there's less chance of me miscounting these while i'm doing them up the top rather than running around i think that was right it may be wrong if it's wrong i'm sure i will find out later because every <laughs> every single comment will be telling me that i didn't count them up correctly maybe i'll get better maybe that's part of the game me being able to count them up i mean if i was trying to do it to cheat i would have given myself a better score than the others but at the moment i think it's uh polly and william nine i scored six i thought i was doing okay and to be fair i could have survived longer but i just ran straight into the fire being like really dumb <laughs> and that didn't uh, obviously work out uh very well for for me so right then uh once uh all of the uh, the lamps are switched back which i believe they are everyone go back to your starting booths i will close the the doors once again when they open is when we can begin and uh william 
Uh, you can have your round starting off on fire. So no switching lamps for you. Your job is just to set all of us on fire. So it looks like everyone's ready. So we'll begin in three, two, one, and go. So right, I know that William is over there. So I just want to run as far away from him as I can. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Or oh, has he gone behind? Is he, is he chasing Fizzy? I don't know if he is. It's scary going the areas where you're going into these corridors because they're kind of like one-way streets. Oh, 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 he's really going after Polly, I believe, which is fine by me because it means like, oh, no, he's going after me now. Oh, oh there's one. There's one right outside here that I didn't bother getting for some reason. <laughs> he's not jumping in the same way that Fizzy was, which means there's not uh, as many gaps, which is, oh, I'm on fire, uh, which is harder to get through. And oh, oh, no, I think he, I think he burned to death. He was too focused on taking everyone out that he burned to death. Oh, but he didn't even get Polly. Oh, I think Polly's trapped now, though. Oh, Polly's trapped now. It's a matter of time, Polly. Nowhere to run. Oh, she jumped over it. Right, okay, I'm going to have to cut her off. I'm going to have to go around this side. Oh, she's on fire anyway. She had nowhere else to go. Oh, no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, oh, do the water. Do the water. <laughs> oh, dear. I love the dedication from William there, though. 10 out of 10. I mean, he only set me on fire, but that was, um, you know, he went to the extreme. <laughs> and Fizzy wasted no time collecting up the, uh, the armor he happened to... <laughs> <laughs> to drop down on the floor. Right. Let's go. Let's go count up the the scores while uh, while William legs it back over here to be ready to to do the uh, the next round. I definitely did way better that round. But I think everyone did better that round as well. So I'm not going to start celebrating too soon. Yeah, I really need to stand in the middle to have a good chance of uh, of counting them up. Uh, so right, I'll, I'll count up mine again first. So uh, one to, uh, I think I'm going to do it in just straight lines. I'm going to do like a printer and just scan down. I think that's the least chance I'm going to have of making a mistake. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then are there any in this line? Uh, yeah, nine... Uh, oh, is it nine? Is it nine to nine to? Oh no, ten. Ten. There's a sneaky one down there that I almost missed. So ten. Much better than last time. As I said, I got six last time. So ten this round. Uh, I'm sure other people did better, but that would have otherwise been the best score I've counted so far. Uh, so right, let's count up Polly's. Uh, Polly got one, two, uh, three. None on that line. Four, five. Six over there on the far right. Seven, Polly. So she survived a long time, but didn't get as many as she got the, the round before. And now this is Fizzy's first time scoring. So let's see whether he puts a, a good score on the other uh, board. And hi, William! Welcome back to the game! Hi, William! <laughs> Hello down there! <laughs> Welcome back! Right, Fizzy scored. One, two, three, four. Oh, good start. Five, six, uh, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11. That is a record for a single round score on his first ever go, not being the one on fire. Amazing uh, score by uh, by Fizzy. Right, everyone goes and uh, resets the, uh, the, the lamps. I think in future rounds, uh, I'm just going to cut ahead me counting up because otherwise this like video is going to be like 25% us playing the game and 75% of me slowly counting lamps. <laughs> and so it, it definitely makes it easier going up there rather than having to run around, but uh, it still doesn't improve my uh, very, very slow counting. Uh, right, are all of the uh, the lamps switched back? I think they're just doing the uh, the final few now. Thanks uh, for doing that, uh, helpers. <laughs> Busy is loving his uh, his new armor. So right, everyone, everyone go back to your starting booths. Uh, I think I'm going to be on fire this time. I want to be on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know I've spent a bit of time on fire. I want to be the one... Uh, starting off. So I guess, I guess, should Fizzy be my main? I don't know. Everyone's been quite close. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to be an opportunist and just go for like whoever seems like I've got a good chance to get them. Or I might just try and like segment off different areas of the, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm just going to run around on fire and hope I catch someone out. Maybe I'll do that. Right. Anyway, let's begin in three, two, one, and go, 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 go. So I want to run over the campfire. Actually, if I run straight up the middle, then that way I'm going to like block off like half the level. Oh, so look, it looks like, oh, it looks like uh, William's on one side, but I got Fizzy going here. So let's see if I can block Fizzy off running this way. Oh, I did it. I was able to get Fizzy. That worked so well. Uh, Polly is round here. Oh, she could, oh, she, oh, she almost jumped over, but I think she's on fire. Yeah, Polly is on fire. And is William on fire? Are you William? I can't, is that fair? I don't know. I can't, I died. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. Well, the good thing is, is everyone else that was on fire is going to be, like, continuing to, to get everyone else. So even though, like, I am on fire... Oh, no, hopefully I didn't lose my stuff, actually. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, I was so... I, to be fair, I relate now a little bit more with William. I get it. I understand it now. Yeah, I see how you can get a little bit too focused on what you're doing. This game would definitely work way better on Java and, Bed uh, on, uh, Java and Console Edition. I really hope they do change it so the fire resistance potions work the way they do on the other versions. Because in those, like, you drink the potion, but you stay on fire, but you just don't take any damage, which is exactly what you want. But on here, it, it just puts the fire out straight away, so it doesn't really work that well there's probably a way you can do it with like kind of fire resistance armor but we'd all need to have loads of the fire resistance armor so it's um yeah it's just not entirely practical so you know i think i my strategy of going straight through the middle and just splitting the whole game in half worked really well because it means that like no matter what anyone can't get more than like you know half of the the lamps i think that might have actually put me in a pretty good stead and then i was able to get at least fizzy uh fizzy and poly uh pretty early on i don't know how many lamps uh william was able to to get uh when he was uh doing his go so uh tell you what let me uh i know i've just run the whole way back here let me cut ahead until i've added up all of the the scores and we'll see uh just how well everyone was able to to do that round okay i have added up everyone's scores and uh, Fizzy got 8 that round. William got 11, which was uh, really good. He seems to be the uh, the player to beat. And uh, Polly only got 5, I'm afraid. But that's kind of my bad because <laughs> she was targeted a little bit. Not intentionally, but uh, yeah, I did a pretty good job uh, setting her on, on fire at the beginning of the, the round. I did also see um, Fizzy seemed to be... Yeah, sporting some, uh, some rather familiar looking armor, Fizzy, and familiar looking loaves of bread. I would recognize that loaf of bread anyway. <laughs> he just runs away. He just legs it back to, to his side. Right, I guess you can you can keep them warm for me. I guess very literally keep them uh, them warm for me. Oh, I got too excited. A uh, way you could do it is you could maybe also have like regeneration potions or something. Could be another way if you are playing on Bedrock and you want a, a slightly safer version of the game. I kind of like the danger though. I kind of like the way you can kind of risk it by trying to push it to the very limit because I could have stood on one of the shelves. I just got so focused focused on what I was doing, uh, it ended up backfiring. Uh, anyway, uh, final round. Uh, who hasn't uh, Who hasn't started off on fire? I think it's Polly's turn now. I think she's the uh, the only person who hasn't started off on fire. So Polly, uh, you start off uh, on fire this round. And uh, yeah, everyone, good luck. We will begin in three, two, one, and go, 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 go. Right, I know there's one right outside my door. That is uh, something that I've learned. And we're, oh, Polly's going after me. Polly's going after me. I gotta run, hopefully. Oh no, have I been trapped? Oh no, have I, been, have I been cut off already? Oh, I can sneak out! Oh, I can sneak out! Oh, she's so nearly completely blocked me in. But there was like a one little tiny gap that I was able to, to squeeze through in order to get out of there. All right, there's Willie. Oh no, Polly's coming! It's so scary! It's so scary! Oh, can I get through? Can, oh, 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 she, oh, she's on. Oh no! Oh! Okay, right, I, I got, I got, I got to help her out now. I need to, I need to help her out setting everyone on fire. Oh, William, William's got to be set on fire. Oh, he's not. How's he alive? There we go. I got him there, and that's everyone on fire. That's everyone on fire. Right, let me go press the water. <laughs> Let's try and save it. That was so cheeky. Polly was waiting on the shelf because she didn't want her to do what I did and die, basically. But the second I went past, she darted off her little shelf. <laughs> And attack me. Polly doing the famous fiery shelf strategy there. <laughs> right then. This is the uh, this is this is the big one. So basically I need to count up these uh, these final few scores, uh, add them all up. Um, oh god, there's too, too much maths in this game. Uh, and then yeah, we will see who the overall winner is. So once again, let me cut ahead while I do the uh, the, the counting, uh, and then we'll find out who the uh, yeah, who the winner is. Okay, I have just added up all of the uh, the scores. I know who the winner was, but I want to do this in a big, grand, dramatic ceremony. So uh, everyone meet me in the middle of the game. Uh, try not to, to put any fire because I've had enough of being on fire today. Uh, <laughs> right. So in that last round, uh, I scored seven points. Uh, Fizzy scored 12 points, a new record. William also got the job. <laughs> We're stuck in a circle. Also scored 12 points with a joint record, which means... Adding up the final scores overall, Polly scored 21 points. I scored 
23 points, just edging it out over Polly. And then William scored 32 points, the lead so far, and Fizzy scored. Remember, it's 32 to beat. Fizzy scored 31 points, which means William Beaver is the winner! <laughs> well done, William. It looks like your crazy, uh, aggressive, set everyone on fire, I don't care if I burn <laughs> strategy uh, ended up working. You know what? I'm going to just leave this water on for now because I've had enough uh, of burning. Oh, that was such a super enclosed, tense game. Like, first and second place was so close, only with win uh, within one point. And then third and fourth place with me and Polly was just so close uh, as well. Oh, that game was so much fun. Obviously, if the fire resistance thing uh, was working, Working, it would probably be a bit better. Then again, the whole try not to burn to death stand on the fire shelf strategy was actually like quite a funny little twister as well. So you know what? I don't mind. And oh, Fizzy, uh, before I end the episode, um, um, can I? No, no, sit. All right, fine. I'll have your, your, oh, sweaty. It's sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it would be sweaty considering the, uh, the game we, uh, we just played. <laughs> Though that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching it. Hopefully my helpers enjoyed playing it. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye!